Welcome to our executive interview series at the Elastic Public Sector Summit presented by FedScoop. I'm Wyatt Cash and I'm here with Ryan Friel, Principal Solutions Architect for Federal Civilian Agencies at WWT. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Wyatt. I'd like to start by asking what key challenges do organizations face in transforming large data sets into actionable insights and how can technology and policy changes address these? Yeah, absolutely. So across our federal civilian agencies, we see a number of common challenges. Uh, the first is really a lack of a true analytics or AI strategy. Uh, to overcome that challenge uh, and address those issues, the first step is really gaining executive sponsorship and establishing that center of excellence within the organization, involving the right stakeholders, and those stakeholders being responsible for AI outcomes within the organization, and also assessing uh, readiness gaps uh, as it relates to technology, people, and process. The next challenge really relates to upskilling the workforce. So gaining actionable insights really requires both domain expertise on the business side as well as technical skills. So any training plan needs to address both of those groups. And the technical experts really need to collaborate with the domain uh, experts to be able to gain the insights out of their data. The next challenge is really related to data. Those common challenges are data integration as well as data quality. And we see that unless data is accurate, complete, consistent, there, you know, you're gonna have poor insights um, if you have poor quality of data. And there's also an issue around you know, gathering data from disparate data sources. So these sources have different ownership, they have different data formats, um, there are interoperability issues in combining them together. And so we really recommend that agencies address these challenges by using data management tools. And these tools can automate things like data quality, data cataloging, data classification, as well as data integration. And then, you know, data privacy and security is also another big concern. So to address those challenges, we you know, recommend that agencies establish clear governance policies of how data will be collected, stored, and used. And then also we recommend that you know, agencies use a least privileged access model, such as a zero trust framework. And what that does is it you know, drives security throughout the organization. Um, and then finally, what we see is as companies' data volumes grow, as the use of AI grows, they really need to look at how to scale AI within the organization. And so no matter where they place this AI workloads, whether it's in the cloud, whether it's at the edge, or within their own data center, what they really need to do is to look at what infrastructure needs to be modernized in order to achieve those AI outcomes. And then next, how will generative AI affect government operations and decision-making processes? And what steps are agencies taking to prepare for this new era? So the potential for generative AI is immense, from digital assistance to generating new content to cybersecurity and coding assistance, possibilities are endless. To, and Gen AI will exponentially increase the pace at which government operates uh, to deliver citizen services as well as enhance internal capabilities and make decisions. Steps that we see our customers taking today are reaching out to industry and educating themselves. Uh, they're forming uh, governance bodies to understand how AI will be used within the mission to not only improve citizen services, but also enhance internal capabilities. They're also figuring out what policies need to be in place to manage changes in people, process, and technology. In addition, they're looking at uh, how to secure AI. Right? How do I keep my data uh, private and secure, not only uh, the agency data, but also my customer or constituent data. Finally we see that customers are taking a hard look at their existing data management strategy and their related infrastructure. And they're taking steps uh, to modernize that infrastructure to realize the true value of AI. Well, Ryan Friel, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us here at the Elastic Public Sector Summit. Thank you.